Hey everybody, it's Kevin's Cocktails and Comics. Uh, I'm doing some camera experimentation here today. Um, Merry Christmas, everybody. Um, spider claws in the house here. Um, somebody did actually make a reference uh, because of my beard. Um, and I think they call me Spider Claws. So, um, that being said, um, on my Instagram page, which is Cocktails and Comics 1, um, I am about at the time of this taping, about three followers away from 500, which is for me, super cool. Um, I know for a lot of people they are like, well, we've got thousands. Well, I haven't even been doing this two months, maybe, maybe about two and a half months. So it's just fun for me. Um, as we get busier in the holiday season, I have less and less time to make fun videos like this. I don't know why I'm just moving around a lot. Um, it must be, uh, my Jittery Joe coffee, um, that is in my Wake and Bake, um, Terrapin, uh, oatmeal coffee stout. Um, I believe it's about 6% alcohol. Um, I am horribly wrong about that. I am so sorry, Terrapin. It's actually 9.4. Um, Terrapin's, uh, Athens, Georgia. So, uh, it is a, a local Georgia beer. Uh, North Georgia, uh, where University of Georgia campus is. Um, so this is, uh, like I said, a, a coffee oatmeal imperial stout. My apologies, uh, your majesty. Um, it is uh, not morning, by the way. It is night. And I was deciding to have this because I needed a little bit of a pick-me-up to kind of finish a little bit of work. And I thought, hey, I'll make a quick video. And uh, my videos are never quick, so what am I talking about? Um, but I love the little turtle on the front. He's super cool. Um, so if you are in Georgia, uh, Atlanta area, or uh, North Georgia, go check Terrapin out. Um, they have a, a lot of great beers. Um, and so without further ado... And Jittery Joe's, by the way, is a um, local um, uh, Georgia uh, coffee shop. Again, mostly from Athens, so that's why the pairings was so so great. Um, so it's Christmas week. Um, depending on when I get around to posting this, um, you know, um, what I'm going to plan to do is on my Instagram page, I'm going to put a post up for. Uh, my, you know, to, you know, congratulatory 500 followers. And what I'm going to make everybody do is come watch this video and listen to me ramble or fast forward, I suppose, uh, to the end where I'm going to show three comics. And of those three, I'm going to give away two. And you have to be subscribed to my page, to my YouTube channel. Excuse me, subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Because I've been doing this for so long. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, and you need to give me a like on <laughs> like on this video. And then you need to go back over to Instagram. And on the post that talks about go to go to YouTube. Uh, you The first one to claim each book. And I'll go into it in a little more detail in a minute. But what I'm going to talk about first is because it's the holiday season. Um, I did my best to go through my comic books, which is not a lot, uh, that were Christmas themed Christmas covers. And there's, there's some that I'm, I know I'm missing. Um, but I wanted to start out with, uh, Fantastic Four number 27. This is a very recent book. It came out a week ago. Um, uh, mostly because the thing is wearing a most awesome Hanukkah sweater. So happy Hanukkah, y'all. Um, this is my... My oy vey moment of the day. Um, anyway, uh, so that's my that's my Hanukkah representation right there. Um, I had um, uh, Spawn thirty nine, which is uh, Santa Spawn, sure. Um, and then another new book that came out, which is called Bite Sized uh, from AWA Upshot. Um, I have not read it yet, but the cover is a uh, you know, Christmas tree, a little Christmas themed. So I thought I'd include that as well. Um, and then uh, a couple of older comics, uh, Spider-Man, 
Spider-Man 166, uh, which is uh, the War of the Reptile Men. And it's the Lizard against Stegron. But they're coming after Spider-Man. Watch out, Spidey. Uh, I don't know. Uh, so that was, I didn't even, I don't rem I didn't remember that being a Christmas themed comic. And I know that if I went back through all these comic books, I'd probably find a lot more than this. A little more modern, uh, I say a little more modern Spider-Man because it's number 314. Um, and this is like the 90s, but this is where Peter Parker and Mary Jane were evicted on Christmas. Oh gosh. Uh, and then the Santa over there ringing the bell. So fun Todd McFarlane cover. Uh, wow, two Tom and Farrell's in there. Um, and then I just random 50 cent uh, Ben pick up zombie Christmas Carol. Um, and I think there were actually a few of these. And why it exists, I do not know. Uh, but I just thought it was fun. And uh, those are my Christmas comics. And um, then I wanted to kind of show off a couple of things here real quick. So... I've been hearing all about these Walmart variants, Walmart variants, and I don't really go to Walmart. I'm not that bougie or whatever, but I just don't really go to Walmart. But I had to go to Walmart the other day, and I thought, well, I'll look to see where these are at. And I have no idea where they're going to keep comic books at. They had a magazine section. They weren't there. And then apparently there's one aisle right before you check out that has, like, trading cards, and it had stacks. And I mean stacks of these um, these three packs, right? They're like shrink wrapped, and here's one of them right here, uh, which I don't have. Strange Academy number one. Uh, I started picking it up on number three, and I think I picked up number two, second printing. I don't really know what printing this would constitute, but this is number one. I just thought it was a super cool cover. Here's the thing. I don't know if the value of these is the same or less if I were to bust them open. And I have zero idea what the other two comics are. Uh, there was only one of these, and they're about nine bucks each, right? So $3 a comic, so you're really getting a good deal when these comics normally are uh, four bucks. And then I also got um, Thor number one, the, the new Donny Cates run. So, you know, nice variant cover with Galactus on it. And again, you know, um, I mean, I've seen these going on eBay in the package for about 20 bucks. So, you know, part of me thinks I'm going to have to open one. And so, that being said, also, um, I found two Venoms. One uh, is going to get opened right now because it's Christmas and I deserve to open something. And I'm just looking here real quick. This one seems like the, oh my God, I don't know where my, uh, my opener is. Um, well, that's going to just suck for me, isn't it? All right. Well, let's see if I can manage to do this uh, without destroying the comics. Um, you know, these are cool and all, but, you know, it's, it's one of those things where, you know, like an action figure. Like, how do you, uh, how do you enjoy an action figure uh, if you don't take it out of the package? And uh, so this is what we're gonna do. And we're just gonna open this bad boy up as gently as I can, um, which sometimes is not always an easy task. All right, usually I have a wine key. Those of you who are, are winos like I am, uh, it's a little waiter's corkscrew and has a little tiny knife, like tiny, tiny knife. Um, and I think that's the perfect tool Although, I don't know what I've done with it. Um, also, as I'm taking forever to, unopen, to open this, um, I did feature some of my Wonder Woman comics, some of the more newer ones. I actually picked this this up here uh, at a thrift store. This little Wonder Woman uh, little uh, painting here, which I don't know what that's from. And um, because I'm so excited that uh, Wonder Woman 1984 is going to debut on... Um, uh, HBO Max in two days or whatever. So here we go. Here is the Venom and it's the purple cover. So there's a white logo and there's a purple logo. And apparently this is worth more. 
I, I don't know why. Um, you know, um, and so then I've got Avengers number 21, which is a second printing, which it clearly states on there. So this looks like it's like a, a regular comic where the Venom, the front comic, has, you know, uh, nothing on the front. It's kind of um, like a trade dress, I guess. On the back, it does, you know, talk about it being a variant edition. So, um, and then the other comic, that's, this is pretty cool, is Star Wars uh, number two. And that's a nice little um, Star Wars homage cover, uh, which it looks uh, like uh, Padme on the cover. And Greatest Moments Variants, number seven of 36, Death and Birth. And I've never seen this comic in my life, um, which is super cool. Uh, I'm a big Star Wars fan. And if you haven't seen The Mandalorian yet, I'm not going to tell you anything about it, so go watch it. Um, so this is pretty cool. And again, I don't know, you know, without opening it, if I open this one, would it be the same two comics or is it random? So that's a great question. Um, hopefully some of you are actually watching this video and not just fast forwarding to the end. So um, I'm done rambling, maybe. Um, so, um, super excited to have hit 500 followers uh, on uh, Instagram. And um, so, hopefully most of you who are watching this are, are comic book fans. Um, so, here's how this is going to work. I'm going to show three comics. And on the Instagram post, you just, you are the, you would be the first one to claim the comic you want so you claim you say claim whatever the comic is and you get it and the second person will claim the comic they want that's still available and then there'll be a third comic that won't go to anybody because I'm gonna give away two comics right now so this gives you three choices so the first comic is um, uh, the Avengers variant edition number 36 this is the Fortnite edition okay so that is um you know you can call it option one you can call it option a i don't care uh as long as you say claim avengers number 36 and then the next option is wolverine number three which is a super cool cover i really love this cover i know that this one isn't a second printing at least um, and again, if this is the one you want, you just simply say, claim Wolverine number two. And the final comic is the uh, uh, Ryan Stegman uh, variant edition, Venom number 29, which is probably the hottest of these three, I guess. Um, so I'll put the information in the Instagram post. So this video will go up. And Instagram posts will go up and I'll be giving away two of these comics so if if you're Sally and you comment first claim Wolverine number two that goes to you and then if Bob only now has Venom or the Avengers to choose from and I think that's very simple hopefully that doesn't uh, confuse anybody too much but mostly I just want to make stuff like this fun um, and yes, I'm make, putting you on a little bit of a chase. And that's how it should work, I think. And then you go back to Instagram and, you know, obviously through a timestamp, I will see who the first person uh, to claim this is. And, and then once you have claimed them and I've confirmed all that, um, and again, to kind of backtrack a little bit, you need to be subscribed to this, this YouTube channel, Cocktails and Comics please and give me some likes and give me some comments there's a couple of you out there who um i've got a 53 uh followers which is or 53, 53 subscribers i always get those confused subscribers followers i don't know um but i love to talk about this this stuff and i wish i had more people in my circle to talk to but now my circle is you guys whoever's watching this right now um and i want to make it fun for me make it fun for you and trust me, I've got more crap 
behind me to give away or to talk about than I'll ever have time to do. Um, so um, then you'll, you know, you'll message me or I'll message you and we'll get, I'll get your address and I will send it to you. I take care of the postage and everything. Um, so that's it. A uh, very long, much longer video than I, it should have been. My apologies. You guys have an amazing uh, holiday season. Um, and I'll probably put a video out uh, just before the new year. Be safe. Have fun. Love your family. They're the only ones you got.